Serious question for everybody. Why do you think Mattel never made or even attempted any cars from the video games? And there are a lot to choose from, like the Racerama, Made International, Driven to Win, Cars Tunes, even Cars Fast as Lightning on mobile. There's so much out there, whether it be new characters or just alternative paint jobs from your Lightning McQueen, Mater Sally, etc. They never touched it with a 10-foot pole, and to give Mattel some benefit of the doubt, neither did the Disney Store, Otomica, or any other brand. So is it something as simple as copyright, like the video game producers were like, nah, we don't really want to collaborate, did Mattel never really reach out, because they're like, yeah, we got enough from Pixar and the movies and our expanded universe that we could just create ourselves and not have to worry about going to a third party. Like, there's so much at hand here, but I think collectively the fan base can agree that they've wanted and myself included video game characters for eons i mean we're approaching the 20 year mark you know 2026 will roll around here and that will be a debate that has gone on for two decades i mean the video games introduce so many unique interesting characters i don't think as many of us really care about the alternative paint jobs of course those are the easier ones to make customs of but more so, you know, the Goodman, the Fletcher, the Barry, the Lenny, all those characters, Count Spatula. I have to be right there with you. So let me know, what do you think in the comments below? I'm going to go just with the bland answer of there's too many barriers, whether it be, you know, Mattel's like, nah, we could just conjure up our own carbon race, T-Rock, and not have to go and approach these video game producers that might charge us a little bit in order to make their designs. You know what I mean? I think that's probably it. It's probably a little bit of a combination of those factors. Let me know though what you think. And today we will be reviewing this Carbon Fiber Lightning McQueen, an alternative paint job for him in the Cars 2 video game. This custom was done by Jared Darrow, Darrow Designs. I will leave his contact information in the description below if you want to reach out to him on Facebook or Instagram to inquire about a custom of your own. He does a whole ton of stuff and takes commissions. So if you don't really see what you're looking for, you could always kind of talk it out with him and you know see if you can work something out. He does great work. I've obviously done a bunch of his stuff on my channel before, so this is really no surprise at all. So there is Carbon Fiber McQueen from the video game. Now, whether it be just... You know, the graphics weren't super advanced, but it really just is Lightning McQueen, the World Grand Prix version with black paint. Like that is literally it. Jared Darrow took it to the next level and made it look a lot more carbon fibery because that's actually how carbon fiber looks. It's not just, you know, flat black. So I appreciate that. And yeah, it's kind of interesting. Maybe if that video game came out nowadays, they'd have the more advanced graphics to actually make it look like carbon fiber. But yeah, it's a cool character. It's one of those ones you had to unlock after going through a whole lot of different goals and tasks and activities. I don't know. I just played it for fun. I didn't ever come close to unlocking everything that game offered. However, I did actually unlock everything in the Cars 3 game, which just goes to show you how much more limited it is than the Cars 2 game. If I was able to unlock everything in that game, yeah, <laughs> it shows you a lot, tells you a lot. But yeah, this guy looks awesome. I got a few customs recently from Jared Darrow, which all of which, yeah, have been seen now in the Giga Hall 21. And yeah, it's actually kind of unusual. Usually, actually, no, I mean, with the customs, I dragged the reviews out for those over a long time. So you've seen a lot of the customs throughout the Giga Halls that I intend to review. And yeah, this one, it's just one I wanted to jump on because I'm really excited about it. But yeah, he's got the traditional World Grand Prix decals. And here is a just regular World Grand Prix Lady McQueen made in China. The one he used, I believe, is Vietnam. Kind of interesting. You'd think it'd be either Thailand or China, but no, Vietnam. Just purge all those Vietnam ones from the earth. I like that little Darrow logo that he puts on there with the arrow. Darrow, like arrow. I like that. <laughs> so yeah, you got the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup logo that they use. I'm not sure. Maybe like just one season of the Piston Cup, it seemed. It's like they renamed it for one season and that was that. But that looks really good on the carbon fiber there. He's got a slightly different expression than what we're used to. He's looking a little bit off to the side. That's always good. You guys know I like that. He's got black wheels instead of the gray, which is awesome. Still with the red trim though, and that looks really cool. 
You got the 95 World Grand Prix, all in all World Grand Prix, 95, the flames. Looks perfect. Looks really cool on a black finish. You can see he's got transparent windows. You can see right through them. But yeah, it's always kind of nice seeing a character or just like a design that's very iconic. Slightly changed, slightly altered. And of course, you guys might be thinking about the Carbon Racer Night McQueen that they did back in 2016. And we will compare him to that in just a second here. But yeah, he's got the signatures up top still, the number on the roof red window bars and then world grand prix on the spoiler a little smaller but gets the job done he's got the flames on the spoiler as well which looks really cool world grand prix no bumper decals but don't really care about any of that stuff just the overall look is there great for display and great for a video like this this is actually my second cars 2 video game custom I had Jim Scavenger do the Lightyear Lightning McQueen earlier this year, which I reviewed. I'll leave the link for that in the description below and card suggestion pop up in the top right hand corner there. You guys can go ahead and vote on which one do you think is the better paint job. It's tough. Both of them are so unique. Really happy to have them both kind of, I don't know, maybe one day I'll be able to have all the alternative paint jobs from all the video games. Of course, that was kind of my goal, at least for Cars Fast as Lightning, and we're almost there, at least in terms of the ones that I deem to be worth it to pay money on a custom for. There are some in Cars Fast as Lightning, like, I don't know, maybe the green snot rod. It's cool, but it's like, eh, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> there are some awesome ones that we will be doing from Cars Fast as Lightning over the next few months here. So stay tuned for that. You guys know we do those kind of in batches every year. This will be the third year, third batch. But yeah, here is the 2016 Carbon Eraser McQueen, kind of late 2015, I think, as well. Of course, one of the many T-Rock Transcontinental Race of Champions series that Mattel did since about like 2012. They did the Silver Racers first, but when they did it first, they did not consider it a T-Rock race until they re-released them all in 2015. So you had Neon, Silver, Carbon, Carnival, and Ice. Ice was in between the Neon and the Carbon. So there you have that. I really like the Carbon Racers. It was probably my favorite of the T-Rock series because they changed so much about the die cast or the characters, the designs in general. You had all the carbon fiber on them along with a lot of gray paint. Like you can see here, you have carbon fiber components, the bottom, roof, hood, eyelids, but then just a lot of gray paint that makes the characters look different. And then some of them even got new spoilers like Lightning McQueen here. Other examples, I believe, like Jeff Garvet got a new spoiler. Rip Clutch Gonski got a new spoiler. Francesco, I got, yeah, he got a new spoiler. I really wish all of them did because that would be sick, but it does kind of make sense. Only some of them did. Miguel Camino got one. I know Carlo Veloso did not. Shoot to the Roki did not. I don't think Nigel Gearsley did either. But yeah, good stuff all around. Very different, but yeah, similar. You know, they both have carbon fiber components. Kind of interesting that the mini racers brought back Carbon Racer Shoot to the Roki, like such a random release for a mini racer. And I still am kind of convinced that Mattel thinks that the Carbon version of Shoot to the Roki is the regular version of Shoot to the Roki. And that's why they released them and they call them Shoot to the Roki and all that stuff. It's kind of concerning. It's actually really concerning because I want a regular mini racer Shoot to the Roki and not the Carbon version. Such an obscure variant to do especially since they yeah they still haven't done the regular one so yeah that's a little irritating on a side note but that's all i have for you guys let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite like lightning mcqueen alternative paint job from any of the video games you know dating all the way back to the first one there's a lot of crazy ones i've actually got jared working on another one from the cars one video game the first video game actually of all time and so hopefully we can get that going up here on the channel soon i'm very excited for it and then yeah like i said lots of just video game stuff in general to come here on the channel and hopefully we can maybe even venture into some of those new characters with some sort of you know creative force whether that be 3d printing because like with goodman i've been wanting to do a goodman for forever there's just no donor no base model to use to make that custom 
that I know of, unless we start venturing into other brands. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Of course, we have some of the Cars Fast as Lightning customs here. Carnival Carlo Veloso. Hot Rod Francesco is from the Cars 2 video game. And then Miguel and Shu are from Cars Fast as Lightning. Thanks, as always, for watching. Yeah, I don't have anything else to say. What the hell? I'll let you guys go. Take care. Bye now. Bye.